నమస్కారం థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ యువర్ సపోర్ట్ ఇన్ ది లాస్ట్ వీడియో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆస్క్డ్ యూ ఎ క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రమ్ మహాభారత ఎస్పెషలీ వ్యాస అండ్ విచిత్ర వీర్య మెనీ ఆఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ ది ఆన్సర్స్ ఈదర్ వ్యాస ఆర్ విచిత్ర వీర్య లైక్ దాట్ whether that story is relevant in the present day is it true is it happening the answer is affirmative i have seen many cases especially the relevance of the fertility clinics all over the world the kind of anxiety which some of the families are having especially about 10 years after the marriage i have seen there is a concept of sperm donors in some cases that is why i have given mahabharata as an example in mahabharata we know vyasa is instrumental for the birth of dhridrashtra and pandu whereas in present cases or in the present situation many people doesn't know because of the sperm donors anyway relevance of mahalaya which is very important during this uh, period the power of deva manushya and uh, pitrus we do naivedyam to devatas to our god by their drishti by seeing the items they will be able to eat that is the power whereas manushya they have to take the food and eat with the hand to the mouth they have to eat whereas the pitrus when they touch they will be eating that is why during the shraddha they used to take the thumb and then touch the food and then they tell the mantra idam vishnur vichakrame tredha nidade padam like this uh, they give the mantra so pitrus are having the power to eat the food by touching it so hence uh, when you are giving the dana you have to touch the dana and uh, give it to the vedic scholars so that they should also touch it and it that amounts to taking eating the food there are many queries either in comment section or through mail or through phones whether ladies can do the shraddha for their parents deceased parents the answer is again affirmative when there is no male child in the family Uh, either the widow of uh, the male member deceased male member or the daughter in the family can do the tarpana can do the shraddha mahalaya shraddha for them again i wanted to tell you all sections of people or all community they are all interested i got lot of calls and i am requesting you every one has to do the pitrukarya without fail i have seen in um, other uh, other communities they will be very meticulous and religiously following the uh, rules especially in eating the food and uh, to do the um, vratam etc and they will take uh, the mahale amavasya as a very uh, serious one and they offer uh, all uh, items to the vedic scholars as uh, dana so there are many people uh, wants to give dana especially the rice 
dal wheat and uh, other pulses uh, milk uh, cloth especially dhoti shawl uh, vegetable and other uh, provisions etc and uh, they wanted to give it to us to distribute to the brahmins as uh, dana we are welcoming you and uh, uh, once you have uh, decided to do that um, please let us know so that uh, we will uh, give the dana on your behalf we are having about uh, more than 100 plus uh, highly qualified vedic scholars uh, here and uh, they will bless you see as per the shastra and um, purana pitrus will start uh, about 5 uh, paksha maybe approximately 15 days into 5 75 days prayer to mahalaya so from ashada or adi month in tamil they start from the pitru loka so they will be vacating the place and yama used to release them to go to their respective houses to have the food from their son daughter etc so like uh, children coming out of uh, the school you know how with uh, joyful they want to go home our parents and ancestors wants to come to our home to have their food and water and all other items so with their joy only they used to come and stand before our house so it takes about uh, 75 days to reach us and mahalaya paksha is a very auspicious one for them and they expect the priority to them and many of us uh, have also asked me whether uh, i can do the uh, the puja deva puja first and then do the pitru puja because of uh, timing etc so one thing you have to remember is first is pitru puja with all those restrictions i have uh, told you it is not restriction but it is a discipline um, like uh, all the puja items uh, i mean we should not show or we should not uh, render it and um, including the deepa in the house and um, we have to give the priority to pitros and after that uh, if you want uh, we were uh, nitya puja you can do otherwise you can skip till the mahalaya paksha so you give uh, 100% importance to your pitros to get their blessings because all the time you are not going to do for pitrus pitrus are equal to devatas only they will be blessing you and you will be able to get whatever you have the desire in your mind so they are um, starting from adi month or ashada month uh, in the year and then reach during the mahalaya paksha uh, to our house and they will be staying here only and you are doing all the respects to our um, pitrus our ancestors some people asked me whether this paksha when they miss means don't worry about it you can you can do this 15 days the tamavasya you can do even if you are not able to do the shraddha during this mahale paksha you can do in other paksha also Uh, normally pitrus will stay till the vrichha month that is the uh, kartikey month till then they will be here you can do this um, shraddha to them to satisfy okay and uh, don't worry even if you miss this uh, paksha you can do it uh, till the kartikey month why i am saying the pitrus are uh, very important in all auspicious occasions like upanayanam a marriage or any other uh, auspicious uh, occasions we give the first priority to pitrus we used to do nandi to them and they will uh, sit in the southern side and after that uh, we call the devatas and they will be sitting in the northern side manushyas anyway they will be sitting in the front side this is how all the marriages upanayanam and other auspicious Uh, occasions has been celebrated in our uh, uh, in our tradition when um, pitrus are coming from ashada month the way in which uh, i mean how they are coming that is what another question may be asked 
uh, they will be coming uh, via the wind. That is why you have the heavy wind uh, from uh, Adi month, Ashada month. And uh, after that, there will be a heavy downpour. So, Pitrus will be coming through the uh, heavy rain. That is why our elders asked us not to go uh, in the rain. And in the direct rain, you should not come because we will get affected. And um, Pitrus will be coming in bunch by bunch in the rain. So, the heavy rain uh, will also transit the um, Pitrus of uh, all kind to the earth so that uh, they will go to their houses. Another question uh, asked by especially when uh, doing the um, Tarpana and Shraddha to the Karunika Pitru Vargas, assuming that you are doing to your uh, deceased uncle and uncle is having uh, sons, uh, should I do uh, to any ancestors where uh, they are having the uh, son, daughters etc. This is the opportunity to do for all the Karnika Pitrus, irrespective of whether they have the lineage. So, don't worry about their lineage, whether they will be doing it. So, why I had to do duplicate etc. Don't do that. You will be having the blessing of your all ancestors. This is the only occasion where you can do the Tarpana and Shraddha to all your ancestors. Not only the, your Pitruvarga and Matruvarga, but also your relatives and uh, friends. So, don't miss this opportunity. And again, I am now requesting you, those who wants to do dana to highly qualified Vedic Pandits, you can approach us. Any item, I am saying, whatever uh, your ancestors desire or whatever you desire to give it to your parents, this will go and reach your uh, ancestors. So, any item you wanted to give, like uh, rice, uh, any type of uh, dal, uh, vegetable and any other provisions, dhoti, shawl, umbrella, uh, etc. I mean, whatever item you want to give to the Vedic scholars, please approach us irrespective of your quantity so that uh, we can uh, um, give it as dana to those scholars in uh, different days or even during Amavasya day so that uh, you will get the blessings. If you have any other queries also, you can reach us. To enable you to listen to the Pitru Mantra, we will be going to release another Pitru Mantra, especially the Shraddha Mantra and Tarpana Mantra with the script. So that we will be able to play this mantra several times during this Paksha and during the Amavasya day. And if possible, you will be able to recite. And again, I am telling you, this is for all communities. It is not only for a particular community to do the uh, Shraddha. And uh, you can also approach us. There is a process for uh, all the people to do this uh, Shraddha. And uh, you have to get uh, the blessings of your ancestors during this auspicious time. In case you want to participate or support this cause, you can contribute by visiting ganapati.com and go to the support page and select your option. Either you wanted to do in Indian currency or in foreign currency and contribute whatever you feel to this cause. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Namaskaram.